Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Windows Snap feature on your computer. Check it out. Just one quick other thing before we go on over the computer and check this feature out. This feature was actually introduced in Windows 7, but I am on Windows 10 today, so you'll see a few more uh, differences, such as more animations and a few more features, but just know that you, if you are on a Windows 7 and higher, this feature will work for you. All right, so now that we're at the computer, I'm gonna show you how to do the Windows Snap feature. This was actually introduced in Windows 7, but they have actually updated it and added a few more animations and whatnot to Windows 10 as well as uh, being able to actually do quadrants instead of just half windows. And you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a window. This will work for just about any Explorer window or browser window or anything of that matter. Um, I have Firefox open. You can see I've got it as a, just like a kind of a minimized window. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna left click and hold at the top of this window so where you can like drag it around. And then if you go to one side of the screen, you'll notice a little animation that kind of indicates where that window is going to go. Once you've got it to that animation, you can let go of the actual left click and it's gonna put that on a half screen, but then in Windows 10, you also get the ability to open up a second window or take a second window to put it on the other half of the screen. Um, another thing to do is if you grab it, just like I said before, and go to the top, you'll see a little animation that will indicate that you're going to full screen that particular window. So if we wanted to open up a new tab, and split these tabs up to where they're two different windows. As you can see, we've got them on two different windows. I'm gonna move one to the left, so I'm gonna click and hold, drag to the left, I'll get that animation. And then Windows 10 is gonna give me the option to choose a second window to put on the other half of the screen. So in this case, I'll click on the other tab that we created. And now you can actually compare them side by side. So this is useful if you wanna compare maybe a form you're looking at or you're comparing a like a do-it-yourself that you're trying to do versus something that somebody else did and you're just kind of trying to like mimic the, mimic the uh, process. Um, again, well, you can take it and you can basically manipulate these windows any way that you'd like. If you take one window, drag it to the top, it'll give you a full screen. And then another cool feature with Windows 10 uh, is the quadrant. What this will do is it will actually segment four different windows in four different quadrants of your actual screen. So if we take one and then go up to the left corner, you'll notice that animation will give you a quadrant so if we hold and click there, and then say we want to compare this one, we'll take it to the top right quadrant. We'll create a couple more tabs that we can use this on. We'll grab that one, make it a window. We'll make this a fourth window. We'll take this, drag it down to the bottom quadrant. And then of course, once you've get three of the four quadrants done, Windows 10 will finally give you the option to just choose the fourth and that will fill up your entire screen of different windows that you can have. This is great for if you're trying to monitor different, maybe different cameras or just type of security systems or anything along those lines, you can actually use this to kind of uh, basically customize your desktop. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked it, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.